We're learning more tonight about the bizarre circumstances surrounding yesterday's shooting at the Monona UW Credit Union. And a teller there who recognized something that wasn't right is being called a hero tonight. News 3's Mark Lovacott is following the story, and he has the latest. Mark? Well, Susan, if it wasn't for this quick-thinking teller and the courageous victim who was kidnapped from his home earlier in the day, the outcome could have been very, very different. Instead, police say the sole suspect in this disturbing case is no longer a threat. A bizarre turn of events on Wednesday afternoon started in the Winona neighborhood on Madison's southeast side. That's when 30-year-old Daniel Thomas confronted a 63-year-old man at his front door and pulled a gun on him. Robbed the victim of money, jewelry, weapons, electronics, and other items. The homeowner was tied up in the basement during this encounter. The suspect, Thomas, left with the man's debit card, withdrew money from a nearby ATM, and then returned to the home. Police say the 63-year-old man was then forcefully driven to the Monona UW Credit Union so Thomas could steal more money. A quick-thinking drive through teller who knew the victim knew something wasn't right. The suspect was kept looking down. She would uh, mouth to the customer something to the effect, are you okay? So at that time, she was able to determine by the look on his face that he was not okay. Uh, she then began to stall on the transaction. A manager called police. They arrived and then blocked in the SUV. That's when the victim jumped out of the passenger side and the suspect started ramming the squad in front of him. The victim indicated, and this is all happening in seconds, indicated to one of the officers who was out of his squad uh, covering the vehicle that the subject had a gun. Uh, the Monona officer used deadly force to stop the threat as the subject continued to try to accelerate and smash into the squad car. Police say it took five shots to stop the threat. Thomas died a short time later. This teller, if she did not recognize uh, the distress this subject was under, um, who knows what, what might have happened to him. The teller, no doubt, a hero tonight. As an independent party, the Madison Police Department is reviewing the Monona officer's use of deadly force. It will ultimately be up to the Dane County DA to make any determination if the officer's actions were warranted. The two officers who first arrived on the scene who were involved on this were both placed on administrative leave as proper protocol. As this investigation continues, it could be a long road to figure out exactly what went on here. Mark Levicott reporting tonight. Mark, thanks. Sure.